Hello there, my name is uh, Gergely Rivoy, or Gary. Today I'm going to talk about Better Gap. Um, this is a new tool I found recently and it got my attention because it's a man in the middle tool and uh, we talk about man in the middle tags all the time like um, in an assessment when we say it's bad to send uh, stuff unencrypted on the network because a man in the middle attacker can then sniff your network and find out your 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 passwords or anything when i found this tool i thought this is a good opportunity to play a little bit with man in the middle attacks so what i'm gonna do today is uh, introduce better cap talk a little bit about network sniffing and our poisoning for for those people who don't really know what's that and how that works and then we'll install and try better cap uh, the basic features we'll sniff a network a little bit to to find some uh, passwords and talk about what better cap is capable of so let's start with the installation so you can see here already i have the better cap website on my uh, screen and basically the installation is not that difficult because you can just uh, use ruby gems to install it better cap is actually a uh, a full uh, ruby application and you can extend it uh, in ruby so um, it's good for you if you know uh, Ruby well. Now the installation is also documented on the website, so uh, you can check it out and also do it your, uh, yourself. So let's go to a terminal. First, I'm going to install the dependencies, which some of it is already installed in Kali, uh, but I'm just not going to check which exactly. Just go on with the installation. And it's then build uh, essentials. Ruby development packages. And uh, leap pay cap for manipulating traffic. Yeah. So now we have the dependencies. Then let's get on with the installation of better cap and that's gem install uh, better cap. It's going to take a little bit, so just be patient. Okay, so the installation is ready. So let's see if we can execute it. Yes, so the help works. That's uh, that's a good start. Now, before I start getting into better cap, I will just um, explain quickly uh, how this network sniffing works, how our poisoning works, etc. For that, let me draw for you. So what happens here? I'm going to use uh, two computers, the Kali what you see, what you've seen, and um, a Windows 8 machine. These both are virtual machines and uh, they are both on the same network so what it essentially means is that we have uh, the internet here and uh, then i have a router here i have here my kali and i have here my victim so normally the victim communicates with the router directly and then that goes to the internet. The goal what we want to reach is that um, that this communication go to Kali and then to the router. Now Petrocap offers different um, methods uh, to, to do this. What we are going to use is uh, ARP poisoning, which means that, that Kali has a MAC address here. It's called MAC K, let's call it this way. He has a MAC V, and this one has a MAC R. So these are normal MAC addresses, what you already know. When the victim wants to go to the internet, he has to first send the packets uh, to the router. So what he will ask 
he will know the uh, IP address of the router, but he wants to find out what's the MAC address for that IP address so that he can send the packet. He will ask the network, uh, what's the MAC address for that particular IP address? Now, what BetterCap, BetterCap does is whenever such a, such a request happens, then he will only always respond, uh, hopefully, as the first responder. He will always say that my MAC address is for, is, is, uh, for that IP. So whatever the victim or the router or anybody else on this network ask for, ask for an IP address or ask for the MAC address of an IP address, our attacker with BetterCap will always say that my MAC address is related to this IP address. That way, basically, the victim is going to think that on the network he has to send he has to send his packet first here because he will think that this is the router and then BetterCap will relay this packet to the router. But also when a packet comes back, the router will also think, because he's, he will also request a MAC address, he will also think that Kali or BetterCap is the victim and then Kali will just relay again the packet to the victim. So we basically reached our goal here. Uh, because of this ARP spoofing or, or ARP uh, poisoning, all packets will cross our Kali machine through BetterCap. And then from, from this point on, basically, BetterCap is able to do whatever he wants with those packets. BetterCap also offers uh, different tools to do different thing, things with the traffic. But what we're going to try is just to look at the traffic and find valuable information in it, like uh, passwords. So I hope that's clear now. And I will just move on to, to working with BetterCap and see how we can actually do a Mad in the Middle attack. So let's uh, look at our target first, or our victim. So what I'm going to try to do is to intercept the traffic of this victim. We are going to try to intercept the HTTP traffic to a specific website. And that website is uh, the cheeseburger.com. I choose this website mostly because I don't use this application. So uh, we can log in here. I will just uh, do it first as a normal user. And then we will try to intercept that again with uh, BetterCap. So the user is Esther Pepper at uh, GaryOnSecurity.com. This is my old uh, website. Okay, you see I successfully logged in. Now we're going to try to intercept the same thing with EtherCap. So I log out. I even close my browser. So now what we have to do is to come back to Kali and uh, start BetterCap with the proper configuration to do the spoofing for us. So first we need BetterCap and then we want to sniff the network. So we use the sniffer. And then, as I said, you can use different techniques uh, for spoofing. The default is the uh, ARP uh, spoofing, but I will specify it here anyway. So just you have it on in the command line. And since we are going to work with HTTP and HTTPS traffic, probably, I will use the HTTP and HTTPS proxies uh, offered by EtherCap. And uh, for that, you say proxy HTTP and the minus minus proxy HTTPS. And uh, there are different parsers in, in, uh, in EtherCap. Uh, what I'm going to use now is the custom parser. And I will look for something like password in the traffic. And then we hope that, that the the password for the cheeseburger.com is going to be called by EtherCap. So let's start the sniffing. What you see here is that uh, EtherCap started 
First, it tries to, to figure out the targets on the network. So which one is the gateway? Which ones are the other machine on the network? So that he can spoof these machines on the network. Because we choose an HTTPS proxy, it will also generate a certificate for itself uh, to try to avoid recognition. Of course, this is not a real valid google.com certificate. It's a fake, but um, it could be useful. So let's go back to the victims machine. Let's load cheeseburger. Oh, you see there is already lots of things happening here. You see all these content because that's HTTP and that's what we were looking for. You could also see that it's from man many different places. The thing is that, that the website is just full with uh, different content from different websites. So that's why uh, the requests are go to basically everywhere around the internet uh, and not only to cheeseburger.com. Let's try to log in. So the user is tester pepper. Okay, and I will quickly just uh, change back to uh, Kali. Oh, again, lots of things happened. Let's just try to find our password. This looks interesting. This is a a GET request to the login or register uh, service. And if you look through forget password, whatever, whatever. Oh, here is, this is the email address. So this is the username. And oh, what we can see here is the password. And this is actually the, the password I used. So uh, it worked out. Of course, you know, you have to look, really look at the traffic, scroll here, scroll there, um, but it worked. Another thing I would like to mention is that um, originally I actually wanted to, to spoof HTTPS traffic and that I, I pl started to play with Cheeseburger. And it turned out that, that it uses just HTTP, so this 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 password is is not even encrypted on the network, which is generally bad. But yeah, it's cheeseburger.com, so I didn't have really high uh, expectations. But the point point is that our network spoofing was successful. We were able to attract all traffic between the router and the victim computer. Uh, to to this Kali, to BetterCap, we were able to actually sniff the password of the user during the login. So that's very good. That was our goal. One really important thing is that when you close BetterCap, you need to uh, gracefully exit, which is implemented when you do uh, Control C. Because the thing is that our poisoning is actually poisoning the ARP cache of the other computers. So before you exit, you have to change back the MAC addresses of their caches to the original one. Otherwise, the network will just die for some time until uh, until they figure out that the MAC address in the cache is wrong and then request for new MAC addresses. So it's always important if you do uh, ARP poisoning that you gracefully exit from the tool. Another thing uh, what I would like to mention is that BetterCrap is trying to be extensible. So if you come here to the library and then you look a little bit around, then you will see that everything what you could use is here. And um, you can start implementing your own things. You can start implement your own proxy uh, to, to do like uh, particular things with the request, like uh, change the content of the request or change the content of the response automatically. So then you don't have to like, like look in the logs to find the password. You can just dump the password for yourself automatically, or you can manipulate every response so that the, the user sees something else. So there's, there are lots of possibilities here 
and I think um, Evil Zucket, the, the guy who uh, writes um, Better Cap, he made a really good job here. So if you find this interesting, you can start playing with uh, Better Cap as well. If you do something cool, like uh, write your uh, own proxy tool or, or any kind of extension, then, uh, then let me know or, or comment here uh, so that everybody knows that uh, there is something new here. Or uh, if you discover something interesting, also uh, just comment on, on, on this post. That's it. I was Gary Rayway from Ether Security Labs. And uh, take care. Keep hacking. Ciao.